natural flows man and woman need to be organic whole both man and woman need to be organic whole only then life will be a blessing most of the things that make men and women different are conditional differences should be maintained because they make men and women attractive to each other but they should not be used as condemnation but the contrary happens there are so many strong historical facts to prove the beauty the grandeur the spirituality and the height of love of a woman man has failed but woman has not i would like both to become an organic whole remaining at the same time absolutely free remember love never creates bondage love gives freedom then we can create a better world half of the world has been denied of this contribution and that half the woman had an immense capacity to contribute to the world it would have made it a beautiful paradise there is no need that they should be equal that they should wear the same clothes that they should behave like men or use vulgar language because man uses it the woman should search in her own soul for her own potential and develop it and she will have a beautiful future man and woman are to get neither equal nor unequal they are unique instead and the meeting of two unique beings brings something miraculous into the existence remember this man and woman are neither equal nor unequal instead they are unique and the meeting of two unique beings brings something miraculous into existence remember women are better than men in ruling and administration and taking care whatever i say is a practical experience the theory comes later the reality comes first such is a scientific way women have not been in power for millennia man has always been in power and his power has only created wars and destructions it has not caused humanity to evolve it has been in the service of death i would like women to take power for the time for the time being there will be difficulties because the past repressions in a woman that will explode first she may move to the other extreme with this it is just like a man who has been fasting for 10 days and then you place delicious food before him he is bound to eat more than is needed he will fall sick what fasting has not been able to do the delicious food has been able to do he may even die there is an interim period which we will have to accept because of millions of years of repressed power but this will subside certainly it will take some time but it will disappear one day when woman is certain of her power she will not be revengeful she will not hate men this is only for a time until the whole past is erased from the consciousness of the woman this is the effort of the spiritual masters to bring harmony between man and woman to re- to erase the memories of the past 
that has been destructive to her. Woman is a better ruler for the simple reason that she has more loving heart, is more human, she is more kind and more compassionate. But these qualities get sub, uh, subsided because of the constant repression. And then finally there is no question of who rules. Whosoever has the merit, man or woman, rules. And the basic quality of the ruler is that he should be the servant of people, servant of humanity, that his power to rule is not the power to torture, instead to serve. So finally, he will be a, there will, it will be a mixed phenomenon in every sphere in offices, in the homes, in the government, in the fields, everywhere, man and woman should not be understood as separate species. But we have to repent for the past and we have to compensate women for the past. The past has done so much harm to them who is going to erase all that whole history from their consciousness. In the beginning, they will be suspicious. In the beginning, they may burst out with all kinds of revengefulness, but that will settle soon. This is what happens when the process of transformation begins. You cannot be revengeful to people who are compensating for the dead, who have tortured you. We have not tortured them. They cannot be antagonistic to us. It takes a little time to settle, perhaps a few years. Let man and woman mix at every stage of life. From the kindergarten to the university, they should be mixed and they should be clear that they are complementary parts to each other but they should not become similar they should retain their individuality they should search and find what makes them women and what makes them men and where they are different not in conditioning but by understanding we have to create a world where there is no question that somebody is superior and somebody is inferior. Not that will be far away. That Not that will be a far more natural world. You can enter any house and you can immediately see whether any woman lives there or not. She has an aesthetic sense. She has a certain clarity about beauty. Man is crude. He has no aesthetic sense. He has to go on living in a house without bothering how the house looks and he will be perfectly happy. Just that sensitivity is missing in a man. Woman has a sense of cleanliness, of beauty, of the right arrangement of things in Japan. Women have developed many arts, flower arrangements, even drinking tea is a ceremony and is done in such a way as if you are meditating. Women can contribute immensely to making human society more delicate, more beautiful, and if women are part of society everywhere, I don't think we will go to wars because whenever man goes to war, it is the woman who suffers. Either a mother suffers because her son is has dead or wife because her whole life waiting for the husband who is never going to return. Man fights. 
the woman suffers. Woman is the loser. Either the father dies or the husband or the son. Just it is always the woman who suffers. Both man and woman should keep their uniqueness. Man and woman should melt and merge into each other. Not as contradictories, but as complementaries. That will change all the quality that they had separately. The woman will become more strong and man will become more sensitive because now they will be functioning together as one unit in synergy. Both, I emphasize because it is very important, both man and woman should keep their uniqueness, man and woman should melt and merge into each other. This is the essence of meditativeness. This is the essence of Tantra. This is the essence of life. This is the essence of awakening. This is the essence of understanding. They should merge and melt into each other, not as complementaries, but as not as contradictories, but as complementaries. They will change, that will change the quality that they had separately. They, that they were sep nourishing separately. The woman will become more strong and man will become more sensitive because now they will be functioning together as one unit, as one synergy. There will be a harmony and life will become a garden of the garden of flowers where myriad flowers will blossom every moment as man and woman interact with one another with their uniqueness. Enough for now.